supernatural word for that day. It is lifting time. Hallelujah. Today is Friday, the 7th of May, 2021, our year of possibilities. And a man of God, Pastor Dennis Amos Emojong, has a message for us. And he says, keep your prayer simple. Hallelujah. Our opening scripture is from the book of Matthew, chapter 6, verse 7. And the Bible says, but when you pray, use not vain repetitions as a heathen do, for they think that they shall be heard for their much speaking. Hallelujah. Some people believe that what they need in their situations is a powerful prayer. But what exactly is a powerful prayer? To some, it has to do with the multiplicity of words, or how loudly they can pray. What produces results is not the intensity of your shout or multiplicity of your words. It is your faith in the Lord and His word, your confidence in the one to whom you pray. Hallelujah. This makes prayer not only exciting, but also something to keep simple. That is the essence of the Master's admonition in our theme verse. Glory to God. God is not hard of hearing. The Bible says he already knows what you need before you ask him. In Matthew chapter 6 verses 8. Therefore learn to pray like Jesus. He prayed and acted simply. For example, in the case of Lazarus, the Bible says, And Jesus lifted up his eyes and said, Father, I thank thee that thou hast heard me, and I know that thou hearest me always. But because of the people which stand by eyes, said I, that they may believe that thou hast sent me. According to John chapter 11, verses 41 to 43. Therefore, given the promise of God in Mark chapter 11, verse 23 to 24, have the confidence that whatever you ask in prayer shall be granted. That is, that is it. Make your prayer simple. Pray with faith, self-assured of the Father's love for you and the guarantee of hearing you in his presence. Hallelujah. Would you please open your Bible with me for meditation scriptures? The first one is from Philippians chapter 4, verse 6. And the Bible says, Be careful for nothing, but in everything by prayer and supplication. With thanksgiving, let your request be made known unto God. Hallelujah. Matthew chapter 6, verses 8. The Bible says, Therefore do not be like them, for your Father knows the things you have need of before you ask Him. Amen. We continue with our one-year Bible study plan. Today we are reading from the book of Judges, chapter 13, chapter 14, and chapter 15, and Luke chapter 5. Hallelujah. Would you please rise up on your feet? Lift up your holy hands and let's make this prophetic declaration together. Dear Father, I thank you for your word in my heart, which comes forth from my lips in prayer to effect changes in circumstances and situations around me. The power of the Holy Spirit is at work in me, bringing about a transformation in my life from glory to glory in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Amen. Amen. 